absolutely love animals. They're so pure, so innocent. Most of them, alligators can be kind of dicks. Bears too. Moose, snobby. Llamas, I've been, you know, llamas are snobs. Camels, I can do without. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Ocala, Florida and I'm at Happy Hill Pet Cemetery. Okay. Now, I just got a lump in my throat already, just <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, but uh, I'm an animal lover. I know a lot of you, most of you, pretty much all of you are animal lovers too. I drive by cemeteries all the time in the states when I'm driving. Little tiny cemeteries, big cemeteries. Little ones fascinate me. I have a few videos I've done from them that I've never put up. Like where there's no nobody famous buried there or something, but where I just walk around and talk. And there's been a few pet cemeteries where there's famous animals buried that I've always wanted to visit that I will. But I saw this just as I was driving by. I was actually on the phone with a friend. I said, you know what? I'll call you back. I want to see this. And I thought, well, I want to show you. Because we all have pets, or had a pet, or maybe want a pet. And the cold, harsh reality of owning a pet is one day the worst thing is going to happen and they pass away. Whether it be old age, hopefully. I mean, uh, or sickness, or accident. I've lost uh, a few animals in my life. It's so it's it, it's devastating. It's just devastating because you can't talk to them. You can't explain to them if they're in pain why they're in pain. You, you can't. You know, you're saying goodbye, but you don't know if they know what they're what's going through their minds. Some people say that they know when they're about to die. I don't know about that. I don't know if dogs, and cats know that concept, you know? So I don't know what I believe in terms of that, but I've had to be in the room when uh, two dogs were put to sleep and um, you see their suffering is over for sure, but it doesn't make it easier. It doesn't. I don't know when people say, well, at least their suffering's over and all that. If they're sick, it doesn't make it easier. I'm such an animal lover. Uh, I make lots of jokes about animals, like, you know, funny stuff. I think that's funny. Um, when I'm filming stuff and animals get in the way or something, or I yell at them or say funny, stupid things, Canadian geese, whatever, but I absolutely love animals. They're so pure, so innocent. Most of them, alligators can be kind of dicks. Bears too. Moose, snobby. Llamas, I've been, you know, llamas are snobs. Camels, I can do without. I like them all, but they all, those, are, those are the ones that I've added to. Dogs, oh, I'm a dog lover. You're a dog lover. Let's take a look. My dog Shady is at home waiting for me impatiently, and I'm more than impatient. I love my dog so much, and I can't wait to get home to him. And I tell him that's why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing all of this the YouTube thing and why I keep going away because I want him to go to good schools and, you know, have all the things he wants. He just stares at me and then, you know, licks himself and looks away. So I guess he, they don't really understand some things. 
let's take a look and see if we can see this pet cemetery. It's gonna be sad, I think, but we'll try to, you know, somebody's pets. It's a public cemetery, so I guess you just come along here and you bury anybody can come along here and bury their pet. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. So it's gonna be hard to kind of figure out where each one is. It's like a double grave, triple grave here. One there. Goes in pretty deep. Cats leave paw prints on our hearts with the collar around the cross. The cats call, that's heartbreaking. I can't do this. Seeing the little collar that the cat would have worn. Oh my gosh. Um, bless your heart. There's another grave here. Let's see one here. Tiny one here. Trying to navigate my way through this as best as possible. It's difficult. Wow, it goes in pretty deep. And looks like here. I'm not sure what this is that they've left, but they've got lights. It's it's that's like a cat. I'm not sure what that is. But all the, you can see it's been here a long time. These all cement graves here and here. I think that's Gina. 1975 to 1990. That was a Tina. Uh, here we have Inky. 1981. Wow. Seven, uh, 16 years. Could be a dog. Could be a cat. more here this one's fenced off not too many oh there's more over here Pierre 1978 so it looks like the older set not necessarily the old section but it looks like people really put the cement stones in 1970 this is so it's been Jean Pierre 1979 Lil Darlin 1984, Coco. Oh. They, um, 1985. Looks like the older ones, people would actually get the headstones. But now, I, maybe not so much. I don't know. Let's find out. Scooper. 1967. Five years old only, this little guy. He never acted. He never lacked for love. Oh. Here, there's some more. One there, you can tell some people just put sticks where they were, where they're buried. Those stones. And then there's got the cement memorial. The, oh, this is, wow. Polo, Prince, Stuart Little. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Sweetie Pie. These are all 2006, 2007. Natasha, Felix the Great, Sweet Pea, Pee Wee, Baby, Julian the Great, Chubby Cheeks. Oh, Tiny Toots. Felix the Great 2. That's wild. So I'm not sure how, what happened here. Like, what's going on? There's so many pets. Let's see. Oh, you can read here. Oh, I can't really read it. I can't see that. Oh, wait. John 316. It doesn't explain exactly. Sugar Plum. Roberta. What are you? There. Simple stone cross. What's this guy's name? Rusty. It's like 99 or 01. I can't see what that says, but that's Rusty. Rusty. Stretch all the way out here, too. Uh. 
Can't read these names. Some of them, I'm sorry. 88, 88. And I don't know. Cas Casper Lindsay? I'm not sure. Bambi, our love. Bless him. 70, 73 to 88. Bambi. You can see sticks people come out here I mean if they don't have the money to put a proper headstone in there's one here hidden with the cross on it at least they're coming out they're putting a stick to where they can remember where their little pet is buried they're gonna stick up there I see a few of them but if they can't afford a headstone a reminder of where their where their pet is something right here too like something in terms of some sort of cement thing but um, yeah I think cremation is the most popular way not popular but the thing that most people do do with pets did I say this already peewee shorty and Mika Kimbro, 85, 80, 1977. And I'm assuming it was a dog, because this looks like a dog, or three dogs. It looks like it was a dog there, I'm not sure. Oh, shoo shoo. 71 to 85. You can see some people made their own headstones out of bricks. Like a stick, like there, which is fine. If they can afford it, stick. It's something. Welcome. Seeing something like this. Did I see this one already? I think I did. Oh, yeah, with the, the cat collar. Mm. It's a beautiful spot. It's a busy little row, but oh gosh, look what it says on the other side here. Until we meet again at Rainbow Bridge. That's a lovely thought. It's a thought to hold on to, to cling to. That someday, that someday you will see your pet again. You become part of the family. You become an extension of yourself. You know? I sometimes think when I come home from a day of filming or I just worn out or something and when I'm home in Toronto and I'll say to my dog Shady, you ready to go for a walk? He gets a lot of walks and uh, he gets anything he wants really. He's the most spoiled dog in the world and I, I spoil him. I'm quite happy to do so. but. And I think to myself, when I'm tired, when I want to go for a walk, and he just loses his mind every time. Jumping around, excited, can't wait, jumping at the door. And it changes everything. I'm like, it doesn't matter how tired I am or, or how cold it is outside if it's winter in Canada. This is the best day of their lives every day. It's like Groundhog Day for dogs. You know, they, they get excited every time they want to go. It's like they've never been out before. And it's adorable. It's like going to Disney World each day for them. Something new is outside like, that they get excited about. And just the thought of going outside, just they lose their mind. And it's the best thing ever. And I think, why was I being so like tired and meh, meh, when you can give so much joy to a little... A little pet, a little guy. It's the cutest thing. When I come back from these road trips, I'm just looking forward to seeing Shady and his reaction. And I've got clips of his reaction each time I come home. And I'm going to put that on the end of one of these videos. Or this video. If I can find some of those clips. Because nothing... It, it, he loses his damn mind. 
Because he didn't see me so long. Obviously, he didn't. So do I. Where's Shady? Where's Shady? Here he comes. Where's Shady? Where's Shady? Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Hi, baby. Hello. Oh, I know, I know. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Okay, hey, Grumpy! Hey! Sadie, 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 no, hey, where are you going? Sadie, <laughs> come on, let's go. Come on, Sadie, we're going, we're going, come on. Let's go, come here. Sadie, get out of there, come on, come here. Let's go, come here. Here's the silly. You want to go right in the car right away? You're all dirty, you're all dirty. Oh, no, baby. Oh, no, I'm home. I know. No, come here. Come here. <laughs> Off the road. Come on. Come on. Let's get your leash. Let's get your leash. Yeah. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. The fuck? How <laughs> do you do that? Hey. Oh. You're so silly. Let's go. Come on. We'll go inside for a second. Then we gotta go. Hello, baby. Oh. Hello, baby. I know. You can't, we need to release her. You're gonna kill yourself. <sighs> and I know you feel the same, all of you watching. You love your pets. Thank you for watching my channel and thank you for embracing my dog, Shady. He's mine, but he's all of yours too. <laughs> I love you all. Rest in peace to all the little guys and little gals here. You, Dragonfly, come on. Find somewhere else. Don't come too close. I love animals, but you're a little weird, dragonflies. I don't trust you. Peace out.